Hi everybody, this is Gijs again with another review and I hope you are doing well. This time it is a giant thermos bottle, the Clean Canteen Tiki White with a contents of 64 oz or 1900 milliliters. So if you are looking for a giant thermos bottle to keep your drinks warm and cold for yourself or for your family, then watch this video. Welcome to the review of the Clean Canteen Tiki White 64 Oz. And 64 Oz translates into 1900 milliliters for those of you who joined the metric uh, system. Now, um, if you follow me already and you look at my website regularly, then you know that I did a news feature on this one and I requested it at that news feature already because I was very, very curious about the isolating capacities of this big thermos bottle. Why am I so interested? Well, because when I go out with my family for a day hike and sometimes for a weekend hike, uh, we like to take some warm stuff and normally we bring a stove. But if you have thermos bottles, you can also prepare pasta or noodles at home, put them into your thermos bottle and take that on your walks. Um, but now, since we are a family of four, we always have to carry about four thermos bottles, which is a bit much. So when this one came onto the market, I was like, hey, maybe this one, 1900 millimeters, that's a lot. Maybe I can put enough stuff in here for my whole family to have a nice lunch on a hike. Now, first, let me get into the technical details of the TQ White. Um, it is a diameter of 118 millimeters and it's got a height of 285 millimeters. I also put it on my precise scale and I weighed it at 836.3 grams, which is quite a lot. And that translates into 29.5 ounces. Um, when it's filled with liquid, with water, um, one gram of water weighs, of course, one milliliter of water weighs, of course, one gram, and then totally filled it weights 2732.7 grams which is almost 100 ounces so this one is really a big one so if you go out you take almost three kilos with you so you will have to bear in mind that if you take those three kilos and um, that you maybe should leave something else at home or if you are a family or just a couple of friends that somebody else might carry some of your weight too as you can see, the bottle is made out of stainless steel. And there are two versions of this one. It's like this stainless steel on the outside, but there's also a black powder coated one. The steel is a 18.8 food grade stainless steel. And on the inside, the surface is micro polished. So bacteria cannot attach to it. And it is also easy to clean. The promise that Clean Canteen does with this one is that your drinks stay warm for about 38 hours. And what they don't say is what they consider as warm. So I did some testing at home. Um, I put hot boiling water in this one. And with hot boiling water, I mean a rolling boil. Um, and I measured the temperature directly. It was 95.7. Um, degrees Celsius on average. I did it several times. And after 48 hours, the water inside was still 39.2 degrees on average. And that was with a outside temperature of six degrees. I also did this with a outside temperature of 18 degrees. And I must say, because of the period and the time of year, I did this, of course, in my house. Um, the water temperature, when it went in, on average, it was 97.7 degrees. And after 48 hours, it was still 44.8 degrees. Now, relating to what is hot and what's not hot, 44 degrees or 40, let's say, let's keep that number. No, it's not hot, but it is warm. And when it is six degrees outside, it is quite cool. Um, I think a cup of tea of 40 degrees is still very agreeable when you are cold. So the 38 hours that Klinker team promises is it's really sort of a worst case scenario. I think it is way better than they say. One thing that I really notice is that when um, the bottle loses its warmth, it is because of the neck. Because at this part is where the, the inner um, stainless steel and the outside of the stainless steel come together. That's where they connect. So you can feel that this one is, well, slightly warm 
and this one is absolutely cold. Now let's have a look because of course I did a test because I want to do it in the outside uh, in the outdoors here as well. Um, I put some water in this bottle yesterday morning and now you see immediately what happens I didn't open it because of the boiling water um, you've got a sort of a overpressure when you close the lid immediately. Now when it cools down you get at a certain point probably normal pressure and then at a certain point you get a under pressure or a slight vacuum and it takes quite some force if you didn't open it for a while to get the lid of the thermos. Now, um, now I don't have a table here so I'm going to put this one on the ground and let's hope it's not falling because this is a sort of marshland. There are mosquitoes everywhere, I don't know if you've seen them. And I took from home my thermometer which is also a food grade thermometer so you can check um, basically if everything is cooked well. Let me have a look. It is 56, 58, 60, 61, 67, 61, 62, 63. Now since I've got the lid off anyway, uh, where's my cup? My Kupilka, my beloved cup, where did I leave the other stuff? Ah. Now one thing that you really should be aware of with the clean canteen Tiki White and especially this big one um, is the fact that because it is so big um, it doesn't fit in every backpack. Yes of course it fits in every backpack but it does not fit on the outside on the where normally you would put your water bottle. Uh, and it's also quite big for small hands. Now let me have a cupper. Sweet! And put it down. That's one thing which is nice, where did I leave it? Um, is that because it's so wide, it's very steadily on the ground. You know, most thermos bottles, they have the tendency to fall. Um, but you know, like this backpack with the Fjall Raven, um, you can see the Shinji, it's got these outside pockets which are really big and they, the thermos fits in here very, very nice. But I've got some more space at home um, and then the bottle is not that well fitting in that one. What you also should think about is that if you take this one, you have about three kilos on one of the sides of your backpack, um, that can be a little bit out of balance. And I don't know, do you hear the birds? It's absolutely amazing again here in the forest. Um, so that's something that you really should think about, that it, you sh it should fit in your backpack, not only on the inside, but also on the outside. So check that before you buy it, if it really does fit, because otherwise you might have a disappointment. Now, let's put this one aside. Um, the fact that this is a isolated bottle does not only mean that it keeps warm drinks warm, but it also means that it keeps cold drinks cool. Um, and I didn't check this because normally when, in my daily life, when I drink cold drinks, when I take them with me, I drink them in the first couple of hours um, and it won't last a day. Maybe with this one it might be a little bit bigger, uh, different, but I just didn't test it. Now, Clean Canteen promises that cold drinks stay cold for 135 hours which is a whopping 5.6 days well if you are keeping your drinks in this one for 5.6 days then something is terribly wrong or you have a very big water uh, volume somewhere else in your backpack um, but I think it won't last that long so I think this number is fine do with it whatever you like um, but I just didn't test it I already mentioned um, the screw cap and that it goes off pretty hard um, when the water has been warm in there and it's cooled down. What I don't like is this metal buckle on the top because it's just not, it, it works but it's not that really nice to the hands. What I do like and that is something that King Canteen does brilliantly, that is if you look at the threads on the inside they're all metal knobs um, which means that you don't have a spiral yeah you have a spiral but it's made out of these knobs and this means that you can uh, you will never get anything in between it doesn't 
stick to it. There's no dirt sticking to it. It's very easy to clean. And because it is a wide mouth bottle, 66 millimeters, it is easy to clean anyway. What it also does is that if you have the bottle, uh, the cap on, then you don't have to find basically the opening where you should pour from. A lot of thermos bottles, they only go one way or maybe two ways, but it doesn't matter. In this way, because of those nice little lumps, you can pour it from every way, from every angle. It doesn't matter. And it is quite precise. Now, as I mentioned before, this is not only for beverages. In my opinion, this is also a perfect food container. Um, and let me show you this, because I'm quite hungry at the moment. Now, let me finish my coffee first. Because of those knobs on the inside, um, it is also very easy to clean when you got some food in there, like I do, some pasta. And now when I take my spork, I can have a really nice meal. Now let's get that one out of the way and let me enjoy my pasta for the moment. And I love these Kupilka mugs. Mm. The bigger ones, then you don't need to take anything else. Now, let's finish the video first before I finish my meal. Um, one of the things that I do like about the company of S. Klinkertine is, is the fact that they do stainless steel stuff. That means stainless steel is sustainable because it lasts way longer than plastic bottles. And it's not only for Klinkertine, Hydroflask does the same thing and many, many others. What I do like about Klinkertine is the fact that they are a sustainable company as well. Um, they are a member of the 1% for the Planet organization, which means that they give 1% of their turnover to this organization and they spend it on basically uh, projects to keep our planet alive. Um, and I also like the fact that well, the lid, for example, it is free of BPA. There is a silicon ring in there. That one is food grade silicon. And finally, um, the company, it is a 100% carbon neutral company so they compensate everything what they do and that is also something that I do like so if you've got the choice in buying a stainless steel bottle think about the sustainable um, the sustainability backgrounds of a company as well last but not least my verdict how do I rate the clean canteen tiki white 64 oz or 1900 milliliters well I think it is a great isolating bottle and First, because of its isolating properties. Um, when you put water in it, boiling water, and you measure it 48 hours later, it is still 40 degrees when it's six degrees outside. And I think that's really, really, really amazing. And that is even 10 hours better than what Clean Canteen promises us. So in this way, yes, the bottle really keeps its promise way, way better. What I also do like is the fact that it is so big. Um, it can contain a lot of liquid, so when I am out all day and maybe into the next day, I can have about 48 hours of warm water, which is absolutely fine. What I also do like is the fact that it doubles as a food container. Also, Clinkin Team did not intentionally think about this. Because it is so big, the 1900 millimeters, it contains a, enough to feed four people a decent meal during lunchtime or dinner. Um, and the fact that it is made out of stainless steel and it's got this nice thread made out of those knobs, it means that it is very, very easy to clean. So that's a lot of pros, but there are a few negative points. And the, basically the one is the cap. Because when the temperature drops inside the thermos bottle, there is a sort of a vacuum and then the cap is quite hard to open. You need a lot of strength. And what I don't like is the metal ring on top because it is not that comfortable to dance if you have to apply a lot of force. So that is on the negative side. What you should be aware of is the fact that it is really a big bottle and it will not fit in every bottle holder on a backpack. Yes, on the Fjall Raven it does, uh, but I've got some backpacks at home that it just doesn't fit in the bottle holders. So before you buy it, if you want to use it in combination with the backpack, check this 
Now, the rating. Um, it's quite a positive story, also because the sustainability of the company. Uh, therefore, I rate the Clean Canteen Tiki White 64 Oz at 8.8 .8 points out of 10 total. I hope you liked the video and that it was useful to you. And if it is, please give it a like and leave a comment below. If this is the first time that you tune into my channel, you might not know that I am a 100% independent reviewer. I'm not being paid by manufacturers to make my reviews. I don't have any affiliate deals and I don't have any advertisements on my website. And after reviewing, all the products are being sent back to where they came from. Now, if you value my way of independent reviewing, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the alarm bell button so you know when I uploaded a new video. And please follow me on Instagram and like my Facebook page. And if you do, many, 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 many thanks in advance. Enjoy the outdoors and stay safe. Ciao, ciao! And now I can finish my pasta, which has gone cold. Maybe put some new one in there. Oh. Mm.